Hi guys, welcome back to The Makeup Hunter. In today's video, I really wanted to shop my stash and rotate out the products that I've been using throughout January. It is now, um, we're now sort of through the first week of February and I had only planned to keep the products in rotation for a month but um, things have got in the way um, I've been really focusing on my collection videos so I just didn't get round to switching out the products so um, I am not very well today um, I am suffering a little bit with pain and other chronic illness <laughs> symptoms um, so I'm stuck in bed but I really did want to um, want to film something so it may be that um, the actual picking of the products is filmed on a different day and added onto this video so anyway uh, you don't need to know <laughs> all those ins and outs but um, if you are interested in seeing me shop my stash giving some reviews about the products that I've had in during January then please do keep watching um, if you haven't already I would massively appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel the link is just down there to subscribe it's completely free for you but it means the absolute world to me um, give me a like, like leave me a thumbs up if you like this video um, leave me a comment, I love chatting to everybody in the comments and without further ado let's get on with the video okay folks so this video may be a little bit disjointed and a little bit all over the place um, as I said um, in the introduction I'm really not feeling very well today um, and I can't really do anything that's out of bed <laughs> so whatever I can film whilst in bed I'm going to film now and then the actual like picking of the products and stuff I'm going to film a little bit later it's also going to be a little bit disjointed because I've got some um, new things I've also been given some makeup from my mum's declutter and there's items in my shop my stash from um, various project pans that I'm doing and I don't really want to give away the um, progress I've made on certain things until I actually film the updates so firstly the first thing I wanted to show you is um, I've actually copied <laughs> my good friend Marin um, she has um, a makeup organizer um, that I have admired and um, I got this with um, my some of my birthday money so this is just a um, makeup organizer that the top lifts up and it's got drawers in it um, I was finding that my project pan items and my shop my stash items um, so I've had this one because it will go with the um, theme of my bedroom when it is decorated I chose the like retro duck egg blue and the actual design of it looks quite quite retro 70s which is the um, the design style that I'm going to be using um, when my bedroom is decorated which is going to be happening within the next month so um, the makeup that I'm selecting today for February's shop my stash may actually have to see me through a couple of months because when I have my bedroom decorated every single thing in here um, is being disposed of and being replaced so I'm going to be living out of a suitcase for a few weeks so 
the makeup I'm pulling today will probably be um, the only makeup I have access to for a little while. I'm also going away for a week, so we'll be picking makeup. Um, in this shop my stash for my holiday so I may end up picking more than I would normally for both of those reasons okay so I am surrounded by a lot of makeup chaos at the moment so these are the items that were in my shop my stash and over here I have the pile of products that I am working on in various project pans. I'm actually doing three different project pans at the moment. I've only filmed about two of them and the third one I am doing, I'm actually doing deck of panning um, but I wanted to sort of see if I could get to grips with the project and um, you know how it works before I actually filmed about it so some of the items that are over here you won't actually have seen me discuss in other project pan videos um, but they are from the deck of panning project so as I say I'm not going to be talking about the project pan items these will go it be going straight back into the makeup container what I'm going to be discussing today is these items here which were um, shot my stash items some of the items in my projects I pulled from my shot my stash so when I discussed um, my shot my stash in January um, there were items from here in here but obviously no they're part of projects so I'm so sorry this is so rambly, um, I do have a little bit of um, a brain fog issue when I am not feeling very well so I may repeat myself um, or lose train of thought that sort of thing. <laughs> so um, the first item that I pulled in um, into my shop my stash later on in the month is my NYX Born to Glow foundation. I absolutely adore this foundation and I pulled it as a mixer because my project pan foundation was too dark for me so I've used this several times um, really really love it but I am going to be putting that one back um, my Colourpop pretty fresh spray um, I am trying to work through my um, setting sprays this year and this is one of the oldest ones in my collection so I am actually going to be keeping this one out um, and I'm working on getting it down. It's not in a project but I am sort of keeping a um, tally of my usage so this one will be going back into the makeup storage. Um, for um, for my shop my stash another one that's going back in is my NYX glitter glue I pulled this because I've had this for an awfully long time and I never think to use it um, I don't really do anything special with my shimmers um, but I am trying to sort of remind myself to use it so that will be going back in for February another item going back in for February is my MAC paint pot in the shade camel coat I only have three eyeshadow primers, um, my favourite being the paint pots, um, when this one is finished and I've used the other two I will probably just go back to using MAC paint pots so these do dry out quite quickly so I'm conscious of that and want to get it used up. Um, an item that I had in here is my MAC dip down fluid line this is just a brown gel liner I really really enjoyed having this in here it's one that I never think to use but I used it a few times did some sort of like graphic liner looks with it and I thoroughly enjoyed it but I will be putting that one back my Inglot blushes um, I have um, two blushes from Inglot in here one is sparkly one is a matte um, I only use the sparkly one unfortunately um, but I do really love these blushes I'm not concerned about them sort of sitting unused in my collection so really enjoyed having them in but I'm going to be putting those back a product that I definitely got some use out of while it was in here 
is my Ofra Feeling Myself palette. This is just three mini highlighters. You've got Blissful, Pillow Talk and Rodeo Drive. Um, whilst having it in my collection, I always reached for um, Blissful. But this rotation, I was focusing on Rodeo Drive. I had never used it previously. And I got quite a good bit of use out of it and really, really enjoyed it. It was on the chopping block, but I have decided to keep it. Um, some other items that I put in as chopping block situations is my Inglot pigments. I spoke about these in my Shop My Stash video where I said that they were on the chopping block, but I'd really come to enjoy them and I absolutely have thoroughly enjoyed having these in here i've got the shades 126 and 127 127 i use the most this is like um, a white gold with a bit of a pink flip and then we've got like a coppery gold in the shade 126 use both of them absolutely stunning products definitely survive the chopping block then I pulled in three of my Colourpop Super Shock shadows to sort of force myself to use them and I have definitely fallen back in love with Super Shock shadows. Um, I did use all three of them, um, really thoroughly enjoyed them. I'm actually going to be a little bit sad to put these back but my goal for 2022 is going to be to pull a few super shocks every rotation so really enjoyed those but going to be putting them back um one that has only just been pulled in very recently is my jure essential high coverage concealer pen this is like um, a stick concealer that i've had for quite a while and not really given much love it is one of my favorite concealers but it's one that I was tending to reserve for special occasions but just a quick sort of um, brain fog <laughs> I forgot what word I was going to use but like a hint about my project pan um, I actually did finish up my concealer so I had to put in another one um, for um, like a couple of days ago so I decided to pull the Jouer. I am going to be adding another concealer like a traditional liquid concealer but um, I'll be using the sort of the two together so this one is going to be kept in. Um, my Kevna Kwan the Volume Mascara this I use exclusively on my bottom lashes because it is a tubing mascara I'm working on lots of samples in my project pan um, that I use on my upper lashes so this is my only sort of tubing mascara suitable for the lower lash line that I have in my collection so I am going to just keep this one in until it runs out um, lip product oh I had my MAC Duck eyeliner, this is just a brown pencil liner, um, thoroughly enjoyed it, um, it's one of my favourite liners, um, tempted to, yeah I think I will keep this one in um, because it's just a standard brown liner which I tend to reach for more than anything, um, so I am going to add other liners to this but I am going to keep this one in here. I did have um, Colourpop Overboard which is a bronzy um, cream gel liner um, but that one um, is now in my empties which I will be doing a video on my empties um, probably will combine it with my project pan updates so that one is no longer in my collection the only one that remained was Duck and I've, as I say I'm going to keep that one in now back to lip products, so um, I have my um, Inglot, um, sorry about the lighting, I'm working by completely natural light, it was really dull and windy and now the sun is blinding and now it's going back behind a cloud again so it is going to keep changing. Um, this is just um, Inglot 854, it's like um, a rose woody 
colour. Um, absolutely adore these liners from Inglot, um, but I am ready to put this one back and try something else. Um, lip products. Um, disappointed in my usage of MAC Quite the Thing. This is one of their like more balmy. Oh, I can't get the lid off. <laughs> balmy lipsticks. Um, it's got quite a glossy finish. It's like a beautiful shimmery purple. I had decided to declutter this because I had to force myself to use it and I only used it twice um, while it's been in here. Um, once when I was literally just sat in bed not going anywhere with no other makeup on just to see what it looked like and then I did put it on when I did a full look. I decided to declutter it because I didn't think it suited me but my mum said it was stunning, she loved it on me and I'd be a fool to get rid of it. So I have decided to keep it but if I pull it in for another rotation this year and it's the same situation where I have to force myself to use it then I will declutter it. Um, one that I thoroughly enjoyed is my YSL um, Rouge Pour Couture in the shade 27. This is a beautiful bright pink. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Wore this in a video and felt so good in it. Um, pink is not a colour that I wear very often but really enjoy this lipstick and I love the formula of the YSL lip products so I'm definitely be keeping that. I also put in one of my Dior 999 samples, this is like a deluxe sample, you do get a lot of product in these, um, I have about three or four of these little samples um, and I did wear this, I wore it in a video, it's quite an orangey red um, which is my favourite type of red so really enjoyed having this in. And then my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow wore this several times actually um, I've been getting into glosses a lot more recently um, so I'm tempted to keep this in because it's one of my favourite glosses um, but I think I'm going to put it back and focus on some of the older glosses in my collection and then finally we have my palettes so I had my um, self-named Basic Bitch palette. This is a combination of Makeup Geek and MAC singles, mostly mattes. Um, use this a lot, um, most times that I did my makeup and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's one that I'll always keep hold of because it's like my perfect perfect palette it's a perfect companion palette and I've really enjoyed it I also really enjoyed having my Colourpop singles in here this has got a blush a highlight and some eyeshadows I didn't use it as much as I had hoped because I was focusing on um, getting use out of my super shops and these are like companions to the basic palette so I did use it a few times I used this shade this shade and I used um, a couple of the mattes I think um, and I did use the blush and the highlight. Um, not worried about it sitting unused anymore because I got to know it a little bit better um, and I am going to be putting this back into my collection. So that's everything. Um, now what I'm going to do is something that um, I am going to be doing now. Um, going forward at the end of every Shop My Stash rotation and I'm actually going to be cleaning and disinfecting 
the products that are going back into my collection. This was an idea I got from another YouTuber who um, did like um, a, a start of the year reorganisation and deep clean of her makeup collection. I'm completely blanking on the YouTuber's name but I'll link her channel and the video that I'm talking about in the description box. And I just thought it was a great idea as my focus this year is um, buying less new makeup and focusing more on the older products in my collection I do want to give them a little bit of TLC at the end of my shop my stash rotation so I'm going to be like cleaning up the dust um, you know cleaning up um, any lipstick that's gone round the top of the tubes on my lip products um, there's not really much on here but you know just wiping them over before I put them back into my collection and um, she did it with her entire makeup collection but I just have too much to do that in one go so I'm going to be doing it at the end of each shop my stash rotation as part of this video and I'll just speed through it Okay, so I've disinfected everything that is going back into my collection um, and I've put um, all of my project pan items and items that I wanted to keep out in back into my makeup storage. Now, I just wanted to briefly go through these items here. So these are items that um, my mum recently decluttered from her collection. She went through her entire makeup collection, we did it together, and she decluttered a load of stuff. And these were the items that I picked to keep for myself. Now, 32 of the products that are here um, were decluttered from my collection at one time or another and have made their way back into my collection. This is just something that me and my mum do. We do ping pong products back and forward between ourselves. The products that were decluttered from my collection here, my makeup tastes have now changed since doing so. Um, and I want to give them another shot. For example, the Flexitarian highlighter, um, I decluttered because I felt it was too icy but I've since used icier highlights in my collection in a different way and made them work for me. So I want to, you know, try this again. Um, the um, MAC cream colour base in the shade Seaside. Um, I really wasn't into cream products when I gave this to my mum and now I'm very much into cream products, so I've had that one back. So, um, there are some items here that were never in my collection um, that my mum has um, decluttered, which I've sort of rescued from the pile. Um, and I do want to pull some of the items from here to put in my shop, my stash for the month. So, all of these little pots are um, Bare Minerals loose eyeshadows. And I have been getting more into loose shadows since using those Inglot pigments, so I do want to give those um, another go. It may be that when I've used them for a little while, I still don't feel that my, they're my taste, and I will 
declutter them again um, and they'll probably be given to um, other family members so from this little lot um, I want to take the Dior lip liner in the shade 463 Boy De Rose this is a lovely pinky um, rose toned lip liner and I definitely want to use that this month um, I also want to take two of the Bare Minerals lip glosses um, sorry these are the Buxom lip glosses so this one is in the shade Sugar which is like um, a nice nudie colour and I'm not entirely sure what this one is um, there's no label on it but it's just like um, it may potentially be White Russian but I'm not 100% sure but um, yeah I'm going to add that one as well and then she's given me three brow products these two um, are her were hers never mine but this MAC one was one of my, um, mine that I gave her um, and I've actually um, I used it yesterday and really enjoyed it there's only that much product left in it so um, I am going to pull that one as one of my brow products for the month um, she gave me this um, Too Faced blush palette um, which I thought this would be perfect for when I go away because it's got a varying range of blushes in it all in one palette so I am going to pull that one um, I'm also going to pull Flexitarian sorry you were a little bit drunk then <laughs> I'm going to pull Flexitarian, um, I'm going to pull a couple of these Loose Bare Minerals shadows. So, um, I want, so this shade Spellbound is just a light pink pearl and I think that will be nice to use sort of like as an all over lid shade. So I'm going to pull that one and I want to pull... yeah I think I'll go for this shade flaunt which is just a nice taupey bronzy brown and that'll be a nice like everyday colour I do want to pull some super shock shadows I'm going to have a very colour pop focused shop my stash for this month um, and I want to pull a few super shocks as well as some of my palettes so I'm not going to take too many of these loose ones um, I'm also going to take um, the Givenchy Me Meteorites um, Guerlain Meteorites sorry um, this one is like a pinky toned one so I'm going to pull that one and then I think that is going to be it from this lot okay folks so let's actually get to the fun part and start to shop my full stash now um, it has actually been a couple of days since I filmed the first part of this video um, and I've started packing to go on holiday so I can't actually take you over to my makeup collection because I can't get to my makeup collection properly so I've bought the drawers onto the bed and we'll do it that way so for foundations um, <clears throat> I think um, I've got my Glossier Skin Tint in my um, project pan, which I've just put into my project pan, um, with the idea of using it as a mixing foundation. So I think I'm going to go for one of my Maybelline Superstay foundations that's a, a little bit more full coverage. So I've got a full coverage option, and then I can thin it out with the Glossier Skin Tint. Um, these colours are very very similar but I think I'm going to go for the shade light beige as I am going to be mixing so I'm going to take that 
um, and then I want something um, sort of in between um, the Glossier Skin Tint and that foundation. So I think I'm going to pull in my Milani Glow Skin Tint. This has a bit more coverage than the Glossier Skin Tint and it also has a lot more glow, a lot more radiance and I think it'll pair really nicely with the Superstay so I've got a couple of mixers, ones that I can wear on their own as well. So I'm going to take those. Um, I've got um, concealers so I'm sorted on concealers and I've got my Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Primer in my um, project pan so I think I am going to focus on that one. Now moving over to my powder and cream cheek draw. Um, for this one I have my Chanel powder in my project pan so I'm going to stick to that one um, but I've also got my YSL powder the big like the big tub um, and I don't really want to take such a big tub away on holiday with me so I think I'm going to pop in my little cover effects perfect setting powder as this one will be ideal for taking away and then I've also been thinking about my um, Trolls and MAC beauty powder, um, about using this as a finishing powder. So um, this is um, going to be a chopping block situation um, because the last time I had it in a project pan I didn't use it. So, um, not a project pan, sorry, um, a shot my stash, I didn't use it. So I want to see if I get some use out of it this time. So from here, I'm going to be pulling in these two. Um, cream bronzer, I've got my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick in my project pan. So I think I'm just going to focus on that one. Um, cream blush, I'm not entirely sure if I want to pull a cream blush, to be honest. Um, I think that's going to be it from this drawer to be honest um, I mentioned that I wanted to have a very colour pop focused um, shot my stash this time round ok so from my powder blushes and powder bronzers um, I do have um, both powder blush and powder bronzer in project pan but I do want to add to that so I do want to pull another powder bronzer and I want to pull um, my Milani baked bronzer I had got in mind that I was going to pull my NARS Laguna bronzer but the bronzer that I have in my project pan is actually very similar to this one so I think um, no, I'm going to focus on the Project Pan one um, and I'm going to pull the Milani because it's very different. It's a shimmery, radiant bronzer and it'll be actually, it'll be nice combined with both the cream and the powder bronzer that I've got in my Project Pan. So I'm going to take that one and then for blushes, I want my Colourpop blushes. So I'm going to pull one of my making mauves blushes so i have this one which is a lot more cool toned and this one which is more pale pink so i think i'm going to go for the pale pink one and then for i've also got i think i want to pull my mulan blush in the shade good luck charm this is a gorgeous nude with a lot of gold pinpoints in it. So I'm going to pull that one. And I'm also going to pull one of my Kathleen Lights blushes. Um, I think... I've got a peachy one in my project pan. Um... Yeah, I think I'll go for this one. I need space. 
so that's going to be it for blushes now for highlights so i've already pulled flexitarian from the things that my mum gave me um but i want to take um a couple of these colourpop light sticks uh struggling with my words again today clearly um i if i pull a couple of these creams it means i haven't got a powder highlighter at all in my shop mustache so um i think i am going to pull another powder highlight so for the colour pop light sticks i want the shades ueno and earth i only have three of these left now and the other one that i've got which is star bright is very similar to flexitarian just in a stick form so i am going to take these two and then for powder highlight i think i'm going to take one of my fenty beauty kilowatts um mean money and hustler baby that is quite icy like flexitarian and i don't want too many the same so no actually mean money and hustler baby is the deeper one so let's take mean money and hustler baby we'll take those okay sorry <laughs> for the weird angle so this is where i keep all my colourpop palettes um and as i've mentioned a couple of times i want this to be a very colourpop focused shop my stash as i don't think i used any of my colourpop products at all in 2021 so i definitely want to remedy that so the first one that i've been thinking about is california love so i think i'm going to take that one um i've got quite a lot of new color pop which um what i will probably do with my i've started keeping all of my new makeup in a big makeup case which i've sort of called my makeup case of shame um because i want my new makeup to be separate from my collection um to sort of force me to use it and when my bedroom's been decorated i'm probably going to keep out my shop my stash products and my brand new makeup so i can get easy access at them so i am going to pull a couple of bits from the new makeup stash today um for going away but then when i come back from holiday i shall put them back into the new makeup stash um and we'll just have like the palettes that i'm pulling now in my shop my stash i hope that makes sense i'm feeling very chaotic today because of the state that's around me um so i also want to pull making mauves i've been thinking about this palette uh lately as well so i want to get some i've not i've not used either of those yet in fact i've not used most of these color pop palettes um i think i'm also going to pull all that so i will open all these and show you them um, when i put things away but i think i'm going to take that one as well um i have going coconuts in my color pan project um so i think that's going to be it for eyeshadow palettes from here okay i'm standing so awkwardly kind of straddling all the stuff on the floor that i'm putting to go away um on holiday with me so i'm gonna just pick from this container here which has a lot of my makeup essentials in so i want eyeliners lip liners and i think i want another brow product um i think my one brow product is coming close to being done so i am going to pull in another one to take on holiday with me just in case i haven't got enough when i'm away so i'm going to pull my um benefit 24 hour brow set this is just a clear brow gel and i'm also going to take my benefit 
brow powder. So I'll take those two for brows. And then I'm all right for setting spray and eye primer. Um, so for eyeliner, um, I don't have any Colourpop eyeliners left in my collection. Um, I do have a couple of liners in Project Pans, but they're more like, um, I've got a brown and, and a colourful one. So I think I'm going to take my Melt Baked Eyeliner Pencil, I love this one, in the waterline. Um, and I'm going to take my NYX bronze pencil um, I think that's probably going to be it for um, no I will take um, where's my Prunella by MAC um, I know I have it here somewhere. There's, there it is. So I'm going to take Prunella by Mac, which is a deep purple, as I want to pull a couple of cool tone palettes in. And then for lip liners, um, I do have quite a few ColourPop lip liners. So I'm going to take BFF2. I'm just randomly picking some from here. Um, BFF3 and we'll also take a pinky one, this one which is Starship. So I'm going to take a go-go, no, no not a go-go, cutie fruity, um, more than ever and what's this one the strand so i'm going to take those three lip crayons okay so all that's left now is super shocks and lipsticks um from the super shocks i definitely want to take my older products as i'm very conscious of them drying out so i just had in six cents um so quiche and hot tamale in my last last shop my stash so don't want to pull those so um what's this one this one is la la which is like a nice <clears throat> a nice taupey bronze so i think i'll take la la um then we've got oh that's pretty that one is millionaire so let's take millionaire uh, this one is Cricut. Oh yeah, that will go with the um, cooler tone looks that I've got in mind, like with um, a couple of the palettes that I've got in mind to pull. So let's go for that one as well. So again, focusing on Colourpop lip products only. Um, and mainly with my colour pop ones I've got nudes and like pinky mauves so these are all my nudes and I know for definite I want to take one of the Sophia Nygaard ones so I think I'm going to take the shade Bikini Bottom uh, then the other one that I have in here is Mrs Norris which is a deeper cooler toned brown and I don't think I'm feeling that one this time around um, and I wanted some deeper more like terracotta -y tones so let's pull these these never get 
any love from me which is a crying shame because I absolutely love the Colourpop Lux lipstick formula so I've got a few velvet blurs a few creams and um, yeah I think that's it velvet blurs and creams so let's go for this one the shade oasis which is a nice peachy pinky nude so i think we'll go for oasis and what was the other one i was thinking of simon says i think or is that too similar to um, they are very close, aren't they? Mm, are they, do you think? Let's swatch. So this is Bikini Bottom. I always forget the name of that one. And Simon says, oh yeah, they are quite, quite similar. You're not gonna see a huge amount of difference on the lips between those. So I'm going to stick to Bikini Bottom um, I think that's it from this one Let's have a look at my other Colourpop lips I've got quite a few in here So these are like more mauves and berries So let's take the other Sophia Nygaard in the shade Berry Bad, which is a beautiful berry. So let's take that one and then, is that it for oh, the other one? Yeah, that's it in here for colour pop. So let's have a look. Oh god, everything's falling over. Um, Oh, these are so pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, let's look at Bling Ring. Um, quite similar to the berry one. Um, let's look at 27. Oh yeah, we'll go for 27. So that's four lipsticks plus the one in my project pan. Um, yeah, let's call it a day for lipsticks here. Okay, and from the new makeup case of shame, um, I do want to take um, a few things from here. So um, four eyeshadow palettes. I want to take off Melrose which is one that I think I'm going to take on holiday with me as well as Lust for Dusk I think I'm going to take both of those on holiday with me um, I'm not going to pull any new Super Shocks from here um, because I want to get use out of my old Super Shocks first um, don't need lip liner um, Let's take um, one, just one of the new lip products. Um, I think we'll go for Kate. I'm feeling Kate at the moment. So let's take the new Velvet Blur in the shade Kate. Okay, so I've bought both cases over um, my what I keep my shop my stash products in and also the case I'm going to be taking on holiday with me and I thought we would pack the two um, because I go <laughs> away tomorrow morning um, this is really um, a last minute job okay so I started laying out everything nice and neat and then it was just <laughs> getting on my nerves so I've just dumped everything in the middle so in my makeup case already is all of my project pan items 
including items that I rolled in since the first part of this video. So let's go through these. So for eyeshadow palettes, I took Lust for Dusk, and this one is going away with me. So this is an absolutely stunning palette and it's got such a good variety of different tones in there so it's going to be perfect for when I'm away. And then I'm also going to be taking away with me the Off Melrose palette which is a lighter, more fresh colour story. Um, gives me sort of all the everyday kind of tones that I need with some fun pops. So those are the ones I'm going to be taking on my break with me. And I think I'm also going to be taking California Love um, for the richer, warmer tones in here. So those are going away with me. And then leaving behind for in my normal Shop My Stash, I've got the Making Moves palette and the All That palette, which was the Valentine's release from a couple of years ago. I think it's a few years ago now and I've never used it. So this one will be a fun one to have and I think it will push me out of my comfort zone. So those are going to be staying here. Um, then for, let's do base products. So I've got my Maybelline Superstay, my Milani Glow. Um, concealer I already had in in here um powder i'm going to be taking my chanel one out my project pan and the cover fx one um brows i've got my foolproof brow powder and my 24 hour brow set i am so so close to being done with the gimme brow i just know that if i just take that one with me on holiday i'm going to be without a brow gel um bronzer i've got my milani baked bronzer which will pair lovely with my other bronzers in my project pan then for oh i've also got my finishing powder i've got i've already pulled the girlian meteorites to use as a, a finishing powder but it's a bit too bulky to take away with me and I don't want the pearls to get all busted up so I'm going to take this one as like an alternative finishing powder then for blushes so we've got I'll swatch these um, my hand is quite stained from the lipsticks so we've got the shade catch my vibe which is a lovely pink then we've got i'm sure this is i need space is it yeah i need space from kathleen lights and good luck charm from the mulan collab so obviously these are powder blushes i'm not sure how clear oh well they do swatch very very well and there's a good variety of color there and in my um, colour pan project, I've got the shade Fresh and Peachy, which is a lovely peachy toned blush. But um, I can't decide yet whether to take away with me. I want to take the Too Faced blush palette, um, just because it's like all it's got four blushes in it and it's all in one place. Um, so I'll make that decision when it comes to it. Uh, then for highlighter, I've got the light sticks in the shade earth or just pinky sort of tone and then the shade ueno which is more of like a nude beige and then we've got the mean money and hustler baby kilowatt from fenty so you've got the more softer, subtle one and the more blingy in your face highlights. And these will balance out the more like icy tones of these other two. And then Super Shock, super shock Shadows, we've got these three. So we've got the shades Cricut, which is a beautiful 
purpley oh, sparkle. That's going to be gorgeous with the Off Melrose palette, I think. And then we have the shade Nillionaire. And these are surprisingly still very creamy. Wow. That one's going to be amazing with Lust for Dusk. And then we've got La La. Which will work well with all the three palettes that I'm taking away with me. Gorgeous. Okay, and then for eyeliners, I've got Melt baked i love wearing this in my waterline it's like a nice mustardy brown then we've got nyx which i've recently sharpened so it's very sharp and that one is the shade golden bronze and then we've got prunella from mac Ooh. so those were be my eyeliners and then I did pick one more lip product as I was putting things away um, I decided to pull the shade come on sis um, which is this nice sort of rosy color which was very different from the other tones that I picked so I'm not going to swatch the lipsticks again um, but I am going to swatch the ones that you didn't see so I've got the strand in the just a tint crayon these are so easy to just chuck on and they're super hydrating then I've got more than ever I don't think I've even used that one and I've not used this one either. This is Cutie Fruity. Oh, the most awkward swatch ever. And then this is the new lipstick in the shade Kate. And obviously I'm not going to be taking all these lipsticks on holiday with me. That's the shade Kate. gorgeous range of colours and I'll just quickly swatch the lip liners so we've got BFF2 BFF3 and Starship which is a nice like rosy pink which will go nice with the shade Kate okay so that's everything that I'm going to be swatching now I'm going to decide what I'm taking away and what I'm leaving behind and we'll put them in the respective cases okay so I've decided what I'm taking on holiday so these are the things that I'm taking away with me here and then remaining is out of the things that I've just picked is going to be these items here Whoop. okay so we've just had a bit of a bout of rain so it's gone a little bit darker but now I have got everything there is plenty plenty of room in this case I could even fit more in if I really wanted to but I've got I've got plenty I've just thrown my lip balm in as well and that's it so that's everything in my makeup case and then this is this is pretty much empty ready for when I come back to put the remaining oh I need my eyelash curler to put everything in here I have um, a separate travel brush case which has got brushes in that I keep for going on holiday so all my tools are taken care of um, 
but yeah that's everything so i'm so sorry this was so chaotic and all over the place um i mean a very different frame of mind in the later half of the video than i was in the beginning half of the video so um thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate everybody who watches my videos even if you just watch a few minutes i really do appreciate you taking the time out of your day um keep loving yourself keep loving each other be so kind to yourself and always be kind to everybody else even if you think they don't deserve it uh, rise above it <laughs> so um again thanks for watching please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already leave me a like give me a thumbs up leave me a comment i love chatting to you guys in the comments and i'm going to no exit stage left because i have a ton of things to do take care guys bye